fellow squids and squidlets. So yeah, I broke my freaking turn signal because I did the tail tidy and now it's like way closer to the rear end. So I was swinging my leg over to get off of it and it was like snap and yeah that sucked. No oh well. Luckily it was at the gas station so we just picked, just went in and found some super glue and she's mint. Certified repair. So I saw a video by English Biker Dan and he was like, five things I hate about my CB650R. So I thought I would do one from my perspective just to give you guys an insight because I know the last video was kind of like my first review of it and how awesome it is. And don't get me wrong, this, this thing is awesome. I love it. I have a lot of fun on this, but there are a couple of things that uh, drive me a little crazy. First thing, and I don't know if you guys can see it, and that's exactly what it is, is this this display here is so, so dim. It's actually on its brightest setting right now. When the sun is positioned in a certain way, most of the time you, you can't even see the speedometer. At nighttime, it's no problem. It looks great at night, but during the day, it's pretty much near useless. That's my number one pet peeve of this bike, for sure. Number two, the slipper assist clutch. It's so weird, like, compared to a dirt bike, it, it catches way, way, way far out. This thing, like, catches, like, right out there, basically full extension, almost. Yeah, this is brutal. All right. Done with that. So yeah, slipper assist clutch. And I don't know, maybe that's just the way most motorcycle, like, street bike clutches are. I haven't really ridden much other street bikes other than this one. So, like, the last bike that I rode on the street was my Enduro, which is a WR450, so it's a street legal dirt bike. And that thing, that clutch felt normal to me, but, again, maybe that's just because I grew up riding dirt bikes, so. Number three on the list, I'm gonna have to say, and this is my own fault, and it's nothing actually you know wrong with the bike it's more so just kind of what I would look for in a motorcycle and that's the torque down low now because this is an inline four it has no no torque that's about like for a 650 it has no torque down low in the rpm range and all the power is made at the top about 8,000 RPM, that's when you get all the torque and the horsepower. I guess I just missed that part, is having the instant torque, like on the dirt bike, for doing like dank woolies and stuff, right? But, so the torque is was quite disappointing when I first rode this bike. I was expecting, that's cool. Easily distracted much. It was quite disappointing when I first got it. And then I realized kind of what, where you have to be in order to truly have fun on this bike. And that's, you know, 6,000 RPM and up. That's, that's where all the power is on this motorcycle. So, and I don't think there's really much you can do to change that. It's just kind of, that's just the way that this engine is on this bike. Even like on the Suzuki SV650, that's a parallel twin, right? That has so much more torque down in the lower RPM range. But that's okay, this bike makes up for it, like I said, once you get get on the throttle, so. The next thing is a pet peeve about this is the seat. If you're going for a longer ride, you're gonna have to stop and take a couple breaks to, you know, stand up, stretch, kind of get your butt off of the seat because 
Man, this seat gets uncomfortable after about 45 minutes to an hour. It's basically like what feels like a piece of wood with a, a, a small layer of foam on it. And that's not enough. And I don't think there's any aftermarket options out there yet for, you know, a comfier seat. But I know as soon as one becomes available, that's probably something I would invest in because I, I tend to do longer rides with uh, the boys here. Lastly, the last bad thing that I'd have to say about this bike, which I've, I've talked about it in my previous videos, the sound from the exhaust. You guys hear that? Probably not, because it's so quiet. <laughs> Or you're hearing Brad. That's Brad downshifting, not me. <laughs> A few moments later. She goes! When you give her the bean, she goes! I would say definitely do a demo on it first before you buy it. And don't get me wrong, I'm not disappointed in this bike at all like I it just it it wasn't what I was expecting when I bought it so I guess what I wish I would have done is I wish that I would have gotten the chance to demo it beforehand but like this thing still still rips once you once you get up to that 6,000 to 8,000 rpm range and then you let the tater chips rip you know so overall this bike is fantastic um, yeah those are just my thoughts on kind of what I wish was better about the bike overall this is a fine piece of machinery let me know what you guys think do you guys have a Honda CB 650R do you notice the same things see another nice car Yeah, leave a comment, feel free to like, subscribe for more, I'm going to try and get some more content out here for you guys soon. Fortunately, I am back at work right now, so the only chance that I get to make videos is on the weekend, but uh, I'll be trying my best guys, thanks so much for watching, Till next time, peace.